Hey everybody, welcome back to Blue Roy Movies. Today we're going to be doing, I think it's part five of the DVD collection I've got. Certainly moving on with these now. I didn't realise realize I had this many DVDs left, but there you go. Stuff, as I said before, I accumulate. Grabbing charity shops because they look interesting. Nine times out of ten they'll stick on a shelf. So let's see what we've got on this one, shall we? Up first, we've got a Tuxedo, Jackie Chan action film. Pedro Almodovar's Evolver. I've seen a couple of Almodovar films and not really my bag. They take some getting into, but I've not seen this one. And I think is this one of his more mainstream films, so I might get on with that one a bit better. This is a double pack. I think they're like TV films. John Carpenter, Cigarette Burns and Stuart Gordon, Dreams in the Witch House. Again, something I picked up in the charity shop. I think it looks interesting, especially being John Carpenter's name attached to it. Like I say, not seen either of them. If you've seen them, let me know if it's something I should be watching. In Sickness and in Health, Season 1, or Series 2, not Series, not Seasons, they're Series here, aren't they? 3, 4, we're getting far too Americanised. 5, and 6, just classic British comedy that will never get made to any these days. Totally wrong, but absolutely hilarious in my opinion. A Ring of Bright Water with Bill Travers and Virginia McKay from A Born Free. Really good British film. Kiss Daddy Goodnight, a film I've not seen yet. Irma Thurman. Irma Thurman? Irma Thurman. Uh, and the ever great Steve Buscemi. So I think that'll be a good one when I get around to it. A horror film I've got a lot of time for. Really like The Entity. Wouldn't mind a Blu-ray upgrade, but I think it's pretty expensive. Uh, the Glenn Miller Story, one of my favourite Jimmy Stewart films. When I think of Glenn Miller, I always think of Jimmy Stewart. Valdez is coming. Brilliant Burt Lancaster Western. An Ealing film I haven't seen yet. Uh, it Always Rains on Sunday. Googie Withers, that should be a good one when I get round to it. Uh, one that I definitely need to upgrade at some point, Chinatown, just a brilliant, brilliant film, that one. Batman Returns, Batman Forever. The only one of the original Batmans I have on Blu-ray is the 1989 Tim Burton Batman, which brilliant film. Bridges of Madison County, Clint Eastwood, Merrill Street, terrible quality DVD, hardly watchable. Papillon, brilliant, brilliant uh, prison escape film, Steve McQueen, Dustin Hoffman. If you haven't seen that one, that's a must watch. Never seen the remake, probably don't need to. The Running Man, a bit of Arnie, can't go wrong. Uh, Lean on Pete, Steve Buscemi again. This is a really underrated film about a boy and uh, a racehorse. Re really good drama, I enjoyed that. American Pie 1, 2 and 3 in Reunion. Quite happy to have those on DVD, not something I'd need on Blu-ray. Son of Saul, I've heard this is pretty powerful. Uh, Ghetto Jewish film in the concentration camps. The Missing, good mystery thriller with Tommy Lee Jones, Kate Blanchett, Ron Howard. Pale Rider, brilliant Clint Eastwood Western. Roman Polanski's version of the Oliver of a Twist story. The French Lieutenant's Woman with Meryl Streep and Jeremy Irons. Good film. Charlie Wilson's War. Tom Hanks, Julia Roberts, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Brilliant cast and not a bad film. 
Oliver Stone's Platoon, just a seminal war film, and again, one that I really must upgrade at some point. Uh, when Saturday Comes, I know this is a favourite of James's. Sean Bean, Emily Lloyd, Pete Postlethwaite. Sean Bean playing for Sheffield United. Young Adam, Tilda Swinton, Peter Mortimer, uh, Peter Mullen, Emily, oh, tongue tied today. Emily Mortimer. Try saying that after a few points. Uh, that's a good little drama film set mainly on a barge and the British canals. The Terminal, Tom Hanks, Catherine Zeta Jones, again another favourite of James's. Gregory's Girl, a film that took me years and years to watch and I watched it and really enjoyed it just because the show don't sleep on stuff I think there's a 4k out now The Revenger not one that I've seen I've probably picked up because it's got Oliver Reed and he's always good for a quid Digby the biggest dog in the world my dad took me to the cinema to see this Jim Dale, Spike Mulligan and we had to leave because I kept shouting what a big telly The Sun, Japanese war film by the looks of it. I usually pick up these uh, artificial eyes when I see them about. Season 2 of the uh, Wheel Tappers and Shunters Social Club. Uh, British stand-up comedy that if you're thinking sickness in your mouth wouldn't get made today, definitely wouldn't get away with this, especially as it's starring the late, great Bernard Manning. Fiddler on the Roof, not seeing it. It's a musical and about three hours long. Pot of Gold, more Jimmy Stewart. Big, big Jimmy Stewart fan. Uh, again, one I haven't seen, Highway to Battle. Is this an Ealing film? No, I don't think it is. Don't know anything about it. Looks like it could be interesting. Uh, Gestapo, the Gestapo hunt for a Nazi defector. The Chorus, this is one I really do need to watch. I've heard really good things about this French film. Yeah, it's supposed to be really good. The brilliant, brilliant TV, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, not to be confused with the film. TV series, much, much better. The Intern, a film I enjoyed with Robert De Niro and Anne Hathaway. Ah, this could be my favourite Hammer film, I think. The Nanny with Betty Davis, really underrated. Really like that. Mercury Rising, good, good action film with Bruce Willis and Alec Baldwin. Uh, the kid in it, he should get his name on there because he was brilliant in it, but not got his name on the cover. Yeah, really good child actor. Classic Al Pacino, The Panic in Needle Park. Uh, June Bug was a film I quite enjoyed with Amy Adams, good comedy. Before Sunrise and Before Sunset, I've got Before Midnight somewhere else. Yeah, brilliant trilogy of films. Not to con be confused with uh, the MCU, the Avengers with Ray Fiennes, Uma Thurman, Sean Connery. This film takes hell of a lot of a flack, but I quite enjoy it. Passes an hour and a half. Oh, this is a brilliant Ealing film. This is Went the Day Well. Recommend that to anybody. Yeah, really good stuff. And lastly, but no means least, uh, this one's filmed Larry's Neck of the Woods, Quadrophenia, Mods and Rockers. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Yes, yeah, so that's everything on that shelf. Hope you've enjoyed. Sure you'll agree there's a mixture of different stuff there indeed. Give me a like if you've liked what I've done here today. Feel free to subscribe if that so floats your boat. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and take care. Goodbye.